Yeah. Yeah. So this is when I was at Microsoft working on the assistive technology, working on seeing AI. In general, I was working on generating language from images. And what I was starting to see was just how, just how I would guess I would say lopsided data was just, they just, it, data just really represents a subset of the world as it is. And it really influences what a model will say. So I was starting to run into issues where white people would be described as people and black people would be described as black people. So like as if white was a default and black right. was a marked character um, characteristic. So that was concerning to me. There was a, there was sort of an aha moment where I was feeding my system a sequence of images, getting it to talk about more of like a story of what's happening. And I fed it some images about this massive blast at a factory where a lot of people worked. It was called the Hebstead blast. And you could see from the sequence of images that the person taking the picture was on like the second or third story looking out at the blast and the blast was very close to this person. And you could see there was the news on in the corner and it was like talking about the blast and the view from the news was basically like the same view that this person had. So oh. it was just like this really dire intense moment. And I, I fed it through to the system and the system was like, this is awesome. This is a great view. This is beautiful. And you're like, it is a great view. <gasps> of this right. horrible scene. Right. But what's important here is that people might be dying. This is a massive yeah. destructive explosion. Yeah. But the thing is, when you're learning from images, people don't tend to take pictures of horrible things. People right. take Im images of like going to parties, like having fun, sunsets, things like that. So it had learned right. like, oh, I'm looking at the sky. I see like blue and red, like it's beautiful. And it just really struck me that that was just one hop away from a system that would potentially blow up buildings because it thought it was beautiful, right? right? You give something with that sort of thinking access to actions, and now things can be. Yeah. So that was really a moment for me where I realized I didn't want to keep making these systems do better on benchmarks. I wanted to fundamentally shift how we were looking at these problems how we were approaching data and analysis of data, how are we evaluating and all of the factors that we were leaving out with just these yeah. like straightforward pipelines. So that really became the shift to, to ethical AI work.